empowerment coach committed to helping women find their strength. After braving immigration to Canada and surviving thyroid cancer, Shrin understands adversity. Despite the lemons that life has handed her, she has dug deep and found resilience. Today, she empowers other women to become their own North Stars. Her mission? To foster culture that supports compassion, diversity, and generosity. Committed to helping women experience freedom from their past, freedom of self-expression, and the freedom to create the life that they love. We're going to talk about all of those things and so much more with the inspiring Sharin Arif. Welcome to Cultured. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Yes. Hi. Congratulations. <laughs> so, so happy for you and uh, this book. Tell us about the new book, The Second Wife. It's called The Second Wife Seduced into Slavery. The title alone just is, is so, you know, compelling and you've been through so, so much. Give us the, the, the brief rundown of what the book is about. Okay. I know it's it's hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll try my best yes. to put it in a nutshell. So basically, this is my experience as an immigrant woman who came here sponsored as a spouse. And um, kind of I was seduced into slavery because my life was no longer a life that I wanted to live or I planned to live, but I was living my life on terms laid down by my my spouse, my mm -hmm. partner. And it was like, do this or go back home if you don't like it. So that's where I kind of lost my power. Uh, I lost uh, any control over my life and I was very disempowered to feel like a slave as if I had no choice but to listen to him and do everything that he wanted if I wanted to live my life here and to keep the marriage. Uh, this is also uh, this is also a play with words that there comes a time in your life when you're uh, so much into abuse mm -hmm. that uh, you become a slave of your mind and your thinking mm -hmm. because my inner dialogue became so controlling mm -hmm. that I lost all my power and I became a slave of my thoughts. Mm -hmm. So why was it important for you to tell your story? There were two reasons. Uh, the most important reason was my children. I have three daughters. I have three daughters and a, and a son, and um, they have witnessed me being disempowered, me having no control over my life, and struggling and suffering. And this book tells them the story of mm -hmm. how I overcame that struggle, and, uh, and that there's nothing to be ashamed of. Mm -hmm. So, I have three daughters and I would not wish them to go through abuse and if they went through any difficult situation like that, they will always know that if their mother could come out of it, mm -hmm. so can they. Mm -hmm. I, will, I also wanted my son to realize the impact of what it is to abuse a woman so he doesn't mm -hmm. grow up uh, abusing one and he mm -hmm. doesn't feel it's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. And I've also written this for other women because uh, along the way, when I started sharing my story on stage, speaking at different events, I realized that my story is not an exception. And because it's not an exception, we better talk about it. Mm -hmm. So uh, what happened was there were a lot of women who came to me sharing their experiences of abuse, and they want to hush it up and never want to talk about it. So it was very important for me to share this because I think I'm making a difference in other people's lives, showing them the way to stand up for themselves. You mm -hmm. are, you are. hundred percent. And especially you talked about it, it's hush, um, especially in South Asian communities. Yes. This topic is like seen often as a taboo topic. People don't want to talk about these things. Yes. Um, so how has the reception been to your book from within the South Asian community? Well, I have a lot of uh, women uh, reaching out to me. I am getting emails from women uh, whom I've never met, somebody from Alberta, somebody from some other province, and they've been sharing their stories and they want to speak with me, but, they, but at this point, they just want a listener, I feel. They mm -hmm. don't want, they're not ready to do something about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. But the fact that they're reaching out to me to share the story could be the beginning of mm -hmm. their journey. Absolutely. That's an important Absolutely. step. Yes. 
Definitely. Uh, and, and it's amazing yeah. because by you talking about it, it like you said, people are, are able to, to have a listening ear, but also more and more resources can be opened up. More and more people can, can find a pathway out, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you have been so great in creating this North Star term, being your own North Star. Can you tell us a little bit about what that means? Yes, so I was a student of literature and I read a lot of books and uh, the North Star always fascinated me because it's the brightest star, it's the pole star that gives direction to people. Navigators look at the North Star for direction. So, uh, so when I shifted from living a life of abuse and disempowerment, I decided to make choices for myself and took charge of my life. So a lot of steps that I had to take came from within me. Mm -hmm. I didn't listen to anybody else telling me what to do. I knew what to do for myself. And so I was shining my own light like a star and I started becoming my own North Star, giving myself guidance to navigate through life going forward. That's what my program is all about. Very cool. To empower other women wow. to be their own North Stars. <laughs> I think we're all. I know. I think we're all just <laughs> oh. a little bit in a shock because Absolutely. it is. Yeah. It is so compelling and powerful, and it's real. I think we all know somebody, probably people very close to us, that have Absolutely. gone through things like this. That, mm -hmm. but it's sadly not spoken about. It takes so much courage. Mm -hmm. So much courage because, like you said, it's not the external. It's the internal. Absolutely. It's the society. It's the fact that you have children. Mm -hmm. it's, there's so many boundaries, yes. so many things, right? Yes. Oh, wow. We need, there, we need people like you to be brave and to be our North Star <laughs> and <laughs> to let, help us find our own North Star. Indeed. Yes. Yes. The second wife Seduced into slavery. Shireen Harith, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me, dear. It thank was you. a pleasure. All right. And uh, again, we're going to take a quick break right now. Cultured returns on Global News Radio 640 Toronto. And when we come back, we're going to put the spotlight on our guest host, Lily Yang. Hang tight. <laughs>